Hi everybody, I am back with a general message from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine energy. Um, mind you, this is a general reading, so it may not apply to everybody, but take what resonates and throw the rest, okay? Um, and also, when I call out signs, it does not mean it has to be within your chart. It just means the overall energy that I'm pulling for whoever um, or you, for the person that I'm watching, etc. So, they're inhabiting, alright? Oh my gosh, before I even start, at the bottom of the deck, we have the clover, the four-leaf clover. And today is also St. Patrick's Day, so something's going on. Also, if you haven't seen the previous reading from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine or the general reading between both, um, that will be listed in the link below. So that will all be separate videos, separate messages, okay? So whatever you feel guided to. Also, I did mention um, within the previous video, uh, the general one, the Two of Cups came out. So two has been very significant, if, especially if you've been seeing two, 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 which represents the dualities, like like balancing out between the masculine and feminine qualities, the dark and light within us, etc. And accepting uh, both okay so also it is make a wish type of thing so um, luck abundance wealth you know something coming towards uh, the divine feminine or the divine masculine as far as like a lucky new beginning you know what I mean so uh, I kind of want to jump in to see divine feminine oh, that wanted to really pop out Divine Feminine, what message would you like to give to the Divine Masculine? At this current point in time, Divine Feminine, any words of encouragement? Alright. Oh my gosh, at the bottom of the deck we have the Moon card. So this also represents my Divine Feminine card as well, so she's making her appearance. Also, the Moon card can represent Cancer energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mainly Cancer is what I'm getting. A lot of people like to say Scorpio, especially because of this right here, the Scorpion. Um, but I'm seeing right now that she is connecting more with her emotions, getting more intuitive downloads, and working with her intuition. Also, dealing with um, her shadow self. So, Divine Feminine saying to Divine Masculine, I... Um, I'm uncovering some secrets that possibly I'm trying to find within myself or that's happening within my life around me. So either or she could be trying to uncover some secrets about, I don't know, her origins, whatever it may be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine, we have the Ace of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Hermit card, okay? So right here already divine feminine saying that she is wanting a new beginning or she is um being open to a new beginning okay this is aries leo sagittarius energy also with the hermit card i'm getting virgo um the ace of wands also represents like dangling like like someone's packing type of card so um it could be that also divine feminine is dealing with sexual type of energy uh right now so she could be like i said with the fertility energy being quite heavy lately um i wouldn't be surprised that we are dealing with like like sexual passionate energy also she's building up passion for whatever projects or creative projects that she's trying to give birth to whether that be like her finances etc or uh, with the six of wands that i'm seeing right here is like the public recognition card so divine feminine or divine masculine um she he or she could be in the public eye you know a lot of divine feminines on here typically um our readers are intuitive like who have a lot of uh, who are very extremely gifted right and they're um, healers okay so the fact is is that she's working towards success or recognition for whatever new beginning that she's walking towards so she's walking towards this possibly like public recognition type thing whatever it may be or growth um, something to do with the public the public eye and a new beginning that's coming in also, oh my gosh, they're telling me to point out the fact that this is a white horse, okay? And the fact is, is that the divine, I have been getting a lot of downloads of carousels and a white horse. And the divine masculine just recently visited within my dream, um, who, who stated of, you know, being on a white horse, that type of thing. Like, charging through or coming in, it's kind of like that knight type thing, like the knight in shining armor, even though we know that divine feminines don't need saving per se, however, it's more so like divine feminine seeing divine masculine as that heroic person on the horse that's coming through, like, <laughs> so that's, that's kind of cute. Also the hermit mode, um, divine feminine telling divine masculine, I am going through a phase, like a, a new phase of awakening, okay, um, also it means that she's learning to go within seeking within dealing like being in that hermit 
mode of hiding. So um, possibly it could be dealing with like The fact that this is contra contradictory, like the fact that the Six of Wands is all about public being seen, but the Hermit is all about being hidden, okay? So there's certain aspects that she wants to showcase of herself, and there's certain aspects that are being kept hidden, okay? Or things that are being healed on, if that makes sense, that are going on within the inside. Virgo, we just passed, we just had the full moon in Virgo, by the way, as well. So this is also an indicator, again, with the astro astrological events that are happening around this time. Also, she's working towards um, following the light, okay? Because she could be going through, again, a process. Um, you could be going through some dark times too, Divine Feminine, as well. But you guys are focusing on being that light and showcasing that light and not dimming that light to fit in you guys are wanting to showcase and come out and be that light to be seen to shine that's what i'm i'm seeing right now so divine feminine right now is learning to embrace that passionate new beginning that's coming in and possibly um that new beginning that she wants to sit on and ride on I'm just okay sorry okay i'm gonna stop this is uh it's gonna be an 18 plus um so <laughs> Um, but go ahead. I'm going to ask the Divine Feminine messages to the Divine Masculine from the Lenormand deck. Message. Okay. Oh, mountains. Oh my gosh, there's a stag. A male deer. <laughs> Hold on. I'll showcase it to you guys. Okay. Well, they're telling me to show it right now. So I'm seeing this here, 21 mountain, and I see right there in the corner, you see a little stag, a little DM right there in the mountain. So I'm seeing right now that she's recognizing that he, she, you guys are both climbing a mountain right now. And that mountain is whatever hardships that you guys are trying to get over that hump, you know, that new beginning as far as that goes, because everything that you want is on the other side of this mountain, which is on the other side of fear, right? So also 21 equals to a three, which is the fertility, um, giving birth to a new beginning type of energy. Okay. Also, I see that this represents the divine masculine energy, like surrounding, like being around working towards climbing that mountain to get towards you so divine feminine is saying to the divine masculine um she recognizes him for what he is right now like what he's going through he, he, she and the fact is that she recognizes that there's a big mountain that he's having to climb in order to get towards her because especially divine feminines who are in their power right now you guys are kind of are on that top or that peak of the mountain right now um so it's not about like waiting it's more so you guys you guys are aware and you guys are trusting and having faith to the fact that divine masculine is making his way towards you so it's remaining in faith remaining in that empress energy in your power i don't think they want okay Oh God, at the bottom of the deck, we also have the owls, the white owls. So this is intuitive knowing, again, with the three. The, oh, I'm seeing um, mirror numbers. You guys are mirroring one another. Holy shit. So if you're seeing white owls or just owls in general or stags or, you know, that type of male um, deers or just female deers in general, it also represents the divine masculine energy. This also represents the divine feminine energy. So you guys are mirroring one another. I see that we have 12 and then we have 21. So if you've been seeing the, the synchronicity 1221, that's a big indicator or 1212 um, that you guys are on the right path or, you know, you guys are on the right path right now. So also this is the secrets, uh, the intuitive knowing, the high priestess energy, that type of thing. So... And also knowledge, like that book of spells, like that book of wisdom. So you guys, you guys are mirroring one of us. That's so cool. Um, so I'm going I'm to lay, lay, oh my God, and I move. Sorry, I don't read reversals, but I moved it. And guess what was, guess what was underneath it, guys? The book, the book. <sighs> okay, I'm going to leave it at that. But I kind of want to read right now, currently, number 21, which is from, so you could be seeing 1212 um, 12 or 1221 Divine Feminine. I know I have, so, um, mount, Mountain, okay. 
I came to bring you challenges and obstacles with blockages and resistance. I will make you late for your date, and my coldness will take emotions off the plate. Pay attention and beware. I can be the enemy in your lair. The mountain is symbolic of obstacles in our way. While it may be there to be conquered, as we see from the animals looking upon the mountain, it is certainly in our way. The mountain appears to us as an almost impossible obstacle, according with its origins as a card, of detour. So it means that right now, like, I'm getting that Knight of Pentacles, like, you know what just started playing on my, my video is Twin Flame Affirmations. Whoa. That's actually really cool. I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and re... They changed my music by themselves. <laughs> but <laughs> that is so weird. Um, if you guys feel guided to connect with affirmations or getting more um, in touch with affirmations, now would be the time to do so. So Divine Feminine um, to Divine Masculine, like you guys are kind of calling this in is what I'm seeing. Like I'm seeing you guys calling this, this beginning in. However, there's some obstacles that may be in the way. So it may be a detour or slowing us down. In fact, when combined with other cards, it shows that we might abandon our planned route and take another route. So whatever, remember when I was talking about like different paths, like being stuck between two different paths. So right now, Divine Feminine, it's asking you like what path are you taking and letting you know that this wall or mountain that you may be dealing with is probably like an illusion. So the mountain might not even be there. You may perceive that the mountain is there, but it's probably not even there. And if it is there, then it's it's your own doing. Like so, as far as like blocking, like having certain walls like high up. And I understand that because that's due to past pain and hurt and setting firm boundaries. So I don't see the mountains as like something like an obstacle or something being in the way. It could be something that is slowing down the process, which is kind of forcing us to go into hermit mode right now. So everything that's going on with the world um, that's going on right now, this kind of reflects with the mountain and the obstacles that we're kind of dealing with. And it's forcing us to, in order to get above or through whatever that may be blocking our path, we have to go within, um, in order to seek that way out. So again, with the, the owls, like it makes me think of going within that intu intuition, like inner knowing that type of thing. Also representation of a message coming through. So, okay. I'm gonna ask Divine Feminine for, to Divine Masculine any messages that you would like to give to Divine Masculine energy right now at this current point in time. You guys are mirroring one another. It's so funny. I can't believe that the two cards came out with the mirrored numbers, mirrored synchronicity. Divine. Okay. So what popped up from Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine is treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Oh my gosh. And I see lilies in the background. I've been saying that I've been getting a lot of lily synchronicities lately, which is also the representation, the flower of death. But death is also a meaning of transformation, etc. So death also can represent loved ones like um, Divine Feminine saying to Divine Masculine. Also, this is a 10. It's telling me point out. Again, with the, the completion of the cycle. Yeah. Um, she sees him as his as his world, her world, his or her world, because I'm seeing the world in the teardrop. But also the fact that she's working with her ancestors and her team of spirit guides and angels in order to showcase this love um, in order to know what's important. So she could be spending time with family and loved ones at this current point in time right now, Divine Masculine, especially with everything that's going on at the lockdown and the quarantine. Um, it's She's recognizing what's really truly important and that is treasuring your loved ones and those that are close to you and spending time with them, etc. Also, she is mirroring you guys, you in particular, by getting connected with her inner child as well. Because I see a woman, um, a mother with a child. Also, I see fertility, like being pregnant. So she could, like again, being pregnant with a new beginning. Um, giving birth to a new beginning. Because the end is the beginning, the beginning is the end. So that's what I'm seeing right now. Um, and also, 
what came out is oh my god you guys are gonna freak out the number 13 the scorpio energy the death energy that i've been receiving miracles and blessing blessings everything has its gifts and remember when I said earlier that all of this chaos energy that's happening is a blessing in disguise? It may not seem like it right now because we're not seeing the full picture because we're only seeing from the eyes of fear. But once we release that and we're able to see from a higher perspective, then we're able to see that this, everything that's happening right now is actually helping us to move forward in order to um, gain those blessings, to receive those blessings in our life, okay? Um, I'm also seeing um, ships. There's a ship that's within this leaf right now, and I'm also seeing the falling leaves as well. So this can also represent, like, again, with that transformation energy, the changing of seasons, like when the leaves fall and then, when you know, plants growing back as well. So we are going through that death, cold-like energy, things falling away from us, things that are no longer needed to come with us on the next journey. But all that, what we let go of um in return we receive miracles and blessings so i'm going to read the guidebook for um the number 13 miracles and blessings and then i'll end this off there and leave you at that and wishing you a beautiful day night okay so let's see 13 You drew this card because there are many miracles happening in your life right now. The angels are asking you to look at how things are. Look again. You will find that your life is filled with miracles and blessings. Reflect on who you are and your journey to this point. Recognize and accept the blessings that have occurred in your life. Situations that were not ideal brought their own gifts and lessons. Your existence began with the spark of a miracle. Continual blessings and miracles continue to show up in the smallest of ways. Be willing to receive these gifts. An ethereal goddess with flowing hair reaches to catch a leaf from the various leaves floating near her grasp. Hair can represent the thoughts of reasoning. Check in with your self-talk and beliefs. Are you open to a real miracle? Be ready for the unexpected. That's beautiful. So right now, um, things may not be looking so hot right now, okay? I recognize that. We gotta recognize that there's dark aspects that happen within the journey as well as light aspects okay but just know that this is a completion you guys are kind of like at the end of a cycle right now and you guys are kind of like embarking on that new one so that new beginning is coming in just trust and have faith that this blessing so you guys this blessing is coming through all right um and to divine feminine to divine masculine she also sees you as a miracle and a blessing in disguise as well divine mask because you gotta <clears throat> oh my god i'm getting choked up right here with the throat chakra oh my god it must okay it's hard for okay one thing for sure that divine feminine wants to let divine masculine know that you are a miracle and a blessing within itself you are the gift just as much as divine feminine is a gift to you you are the gift to her or him whatever it may be okay so and it's a gift from the divine itself so whatever this new beginning um communication whatever that may be um it may start off slowly okay because mind you things need to start off slow turtle status in order to create a firmer foundation you don't want to rush the process but just know the divine feminine is saying that um she's looking forward to this new beginning being open to it going within okay reflecting learning to treasure what is and her loved ones and uh recognizing the miracles and blessings and she's receiving those new beginnings within her life whether that be financially uh mentally emotionally physically does not matter okay so either way a new beginning is better than no beginning okay so <laughs> take that into account all right much love to you guys this is the message from the divine feminine to the divine masculine all right take what you will i hope that it resonates uh, let me know in the comments if not then you know, like, subscribe, whatever it may be. Um, dislike doesn't matter. I don't care. Uh, much love to you guys and stay safe to see you guys in my next video. Peace.